Hello again, uh, Loki here, uh, back in full costume uh, to uh, tell you a little bit more about how I would go about uh, to transform this version of the outfit into the, let's call it, the battle version. What Loki wears in the uh, l latter half of the movie of, uh, the, of Avengers 1. Uh, namely, the version uh, uh, in which he has his trademark uh, helmet and the almighty staff, of course. Because, as I've already explained, it's not merely a matter of uh, slapping on a helmet and carrying a staff. You've got other alterations to make uh, to, uh, to be perfectly accurate. Um, first thing, these wonderful shoulder pads that I love so much, they have to go. They've got to go. He no longer has these uh, shoulder pads. I'm not talking about the armor here, it's just the shoulder pads. Um, and uh, my first version of the outfit, these seams here were, well, they were seams. <laughs> these seams were seams. <laughs> um, uh, but I, uh, I decided to take that out, I take out the seam and replace them with snaps. So now, snap here, here, snap here, here, as I believe I've already showed you. And uh, thus, the entire shoulder piece can be snapped off, passed, through the slit on, uh, in the back and uh, therefore be removed so this can be removed entirely. But of course before you do that you've got to unsnap the armor. The armor is snapped onto the shoulder piece uh, so before you do that obviously you have to uh, take off the armor then yank the entire shoulder, uh, the shoulder uh, pads off. Uh, so that's step one and then you can put the shoulder, the shoulder armor back on except that there's something to put in between. Before you put the shoulder uh, armor back on, you've also got to uh, attach uh, the, the cloak. Uh, Loki has, as if he didn't have enough layers already, he actually has a cloak, a cape. Green, of course, a green cape that uh, drapes over his shoulders. So this cape will go underneath uh, the, uh, the armor. So it, it essentially replaces the shoulder pad. It sits between the, uh, the actual coat and the armor. So take all the shoulder pads, drape the uh, cloak over your shoulders, put the armor back on. And also you've got another piece of shoulder armor. Uh, when he's in full battle mode, he no longer wears just one shoulder armor, he actually has another one. Uh, oh, let me rewind a little bit, let me backtrack, uh, just, to, just to be clear. These are casual observations. This is what I gathered just glancing a little bit at the full battle armor. I did not uh, seriously study it quite yet. Uh, when I get down to it uh, much further down the line, the line when I'm um, courageous enough to embark on this great renovation, so to speak, then of course I will study the outfit in much greater details and I'll be able to tell you more about it, about, um, about how exactly I'm going to attach the cape onto the shoulders, etc, etc. There might be details, there might be things I'm saying now that I'm actually correct and amend in the future when I finally start this um, this battle version. So this is merely, I offer this merely as a bunch of casual observations about the battle, uh, the, uh, battle outfit. So let's go back to where we were. Uh, shoulder pads are off, uh, cape is on, armor is back on with the addition of the, of the left shoulder. And, and already you've got You've got a whole lot going on there. This is pretty much what the battle, what the battle outfit is about. We just haven't talked about uh, the uh, the biceps armor. So he no longer merely has armor on his forearms, the the cool bracers there. He also has armor up here on his biceps. Uh, now thinking ahead, uh, if if and when I do get around to uh, to making that. I might make these uh, biceps uh, pieces of armor uh, actually, you know, they. they uh, I, I might make them so that they open and close, uh, as opposed to these the bracers. Currently, as uh, as you've seen in my other videos, uh, I can just slip them on and uh, on and off. See, they they just slip on. They do not actually open up. Uh, I might not uh, want to do that for the biceps. I might want something that actually attach. That, that actually you know, 
attaches to uh, to the triceps here and then fastens with I'm guessing snaps snaps have worked for me for the rest of the outfit uh, very well have served me very well um, and uh, thus yeah I believe that I will probably have something that opens the closes using snaps for the biceps uh, pieces of armor and uh, and uh, unless I forgot something mildly important, I believe that's it. Uh, shoulder pads off, uh, cape on, armor back on with the, uh, with the extra piece, biceps armor, and then of course, put on the helmet, carry the staff, and you are in full uh, low-key battle uh, uh, version. So yes, uh, some pieces came off, but if you kept a tally there, a lot more pieces came on. So the... the um, the end result, the balance sheet in the end makes it so that uh, the battle version is uh, bigger, more cumbersome, you've got more stuff, you, you've added more pieces than you've removed. So yes, the battle outfit, uh, those of you who've already done it, kudos to you, props, uh, good job. I do not look forward to wearing the battle version because this is already quite uh, quite uh, uh, hot and warm and thick and multi-layered so yes that will be quite an adventure to make and also to um, to to wear but I do look forward to making the staff because of course uh, it will it, it, it has to light up if you make a Loki staff you better make it so that it lights up so that's that's going to be fun. I have worked with uh, electronics and lights before. Uh, it's been a while, of course, uh, but uh, uh, yes, that experience uh, shall serve me well. I'll just have to scrape uh, uh, my memory here a little bit. Uh, and uh, well, I believe, uh, I believe that's it. So yes, battle version, uh, eventually. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll make that eventually, but in the meantime, this is going to be quite nice as comfortable as Loki can get uh, for hosting my many events and shows and whatnot. Uh, this is going to be my, my go-to outfit uh, for, uh, for quite a while still. And even after I've made the battle, or the battle version, I'm sure I'll be coming back to this one uh, quite often. That's why it's important that I don't ruin this one. Uh, no, add snaps that uh, uh, end up being visible on this version, things like that. It's important that I don't ruin this version uh, while adding extra pieces for the battle version. So they, they, they must be compatible. I must be able to switch from one to the other. Um, all right, and like usual, I feel like I've forgotten something. If I do uh, remember what that is, of course, I'll amend uh, the video and see you later. And in the meantime, kneel and subscribe. I knew I forgot something and wouldn't you know it, it came back to me. Uh, yes, after the shoulder pads are gone, this whole area here becomes, becomes visible under the coat. And lo and behold, there's more armor here. You might have noticed it uh, on other versions, like the uh, like the Dark World version. He's got this uh, these... Uh, pieces of armor on his flank right here. So yes, with this gone, we can now see uh, these pieces of armor. So these need to be added as well. So yeah, those very same snaps that hold the shoulder pads on here, those same snaps will be useful to snap the armor on right here. So there you go, multi-purpose snaps. So there's these pieces of armor on the flanks here and uh, you know what, there's something else I, I, I kind of glossed over. I mentioned that the, that the uh, shoulder armor would need to be, of course, snapped off and then put back on over the cape. But it's not just a matter of taking it off and back on over the cape. I gotta toss that entirely and replace it by a completely new one. His shoulder pa pads, plural, because, you know, as I mentioned, he's got two. They, they do not look like this, uh, they are completely different. So yeah, this one belongs only to this costume. Uh, his, battle, uh, his battle outfit has a completely different set of shoulder pads with multi-layers and all of that. I, I clearly needed to study them in details uh, whenever I get to that uh, project. But yes, uh, uh, they just they don't quite look like this. So, so there you go, the little bits that I forgot. To, and uh, kneel and subscribe. See you guys later.